Hey, we're going to visit one of my former students, Jay Kirk Richards. I had him 23 years ago in high school, and uh, he's done quite well for himself. So I'm going to go visit, and uh, we'll just see where it, the conversation takes us. So we're here at Kirk, J. Kirk Richards. So it's Jay. Is always, I always knew you as Kirk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I typically go by Kirk. One of the things I like to do is have a, a piece that people can participate on when uh -huh. they come over. So uh, this year I had this panel out and had people paint either an animal or a plant. So in this case, it's yeah, Bob Wire is really wire cool. And then um, still working on the finish on this. So what bit of advice would you give or or something that you found that was very helpful in, in becoming an artist? And the second one I'm going to ask you is a weird memory you have of, of my classroom, if you ha can go back that far in time. Yeah, yeah. So I think, <clears throat> I think that one of the tricks to be be to doing art is to is kind of finding your own voice and uh, I think a lot of the reason one of the main reasons we go into art is because we have some sort of gift or, or some sort of seed of a voice and teachers can help us to develop that voice um, I think you also in the face of uh, criticism and feedback from teachers need to kind of maintain that that your your vision your kind of uniqueness so and, an integrity to your own personal yeah, voice yeah yeah and let that feedback just kind of hone and 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 not wipe out that voice so I think one thing it, it, one temptation is to be overly swayed by feedback and the other temptation is to completely ignore it so it's kind of like a kite i think the, the tension that you pull is what lifts it up and if you lose that tension which is the feedback and uh and the honing of your skill then you know it just flops to the ground but um so so maintain your voice but but hone it so um uh, i remember in fact, at the school we have hung up right now, because we're, right now we have a bunch of prints, I remember your kind of cathedral uh, in man school. They were dry point. Yeah, now that you mention it, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Because, you know, I, I, I wonder a little bit of that, that, that uh, you know, your imagery being very religious very early on. And, uh, right? I mean, uh, that's yeah, pretty... Yeah, no, that's pretty, interesting that you bring up. Because people ask me when I start all the time, like, I'm like, I don't know. Now we're rolling a weird memory because all my students, it's funny the things they remember. So Mr. Reese would bring his work and some of it had uh, barcodes, I think, but figures, I think, um, I, I remember his, his wife, images of his wife in, her, in stages of pregnancy. Yeah. And yeah. I, I really appreciated um, that I came to, to I, I think I really responded to the figure in artwork. Another memory I have of Mr. Reese's class is when he brought in a, a sculptor for a, a, a figure sculpting workshop. I think it was Craig Barner, right? Yeah, Craig yeah. Barner came in and did that. And that was, you know, that was one of the funnest things we ever did. And I, I've just more recently been getting into more of that, more of, uh, figure sculpture. Hey, thanks, Kirk. Appreciate your time. Wow. What have you? I mean, not too shabby, right? Mm -hmm.